Planking is one of the most commonly practiced and safest ways to work all the core muscles without the need for any equipment. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to demonstrate plank form by performing a static low plank. This is done starting from a tabletop position with hands and knees on the floor. Place forearms on the floor and straighten your legs, supporting a lifted body with toes and forearms on the floor and elbows directly beneath the shoulders. The following key points of form can be applied to a wide variety of planking exercises. Planking is most commonly done with a neutral spine and shoulder position, forming a line from your heels to your shoulders. This is all well and good, and this is the way the exercise is usually executed. However, a more optimal way to perform a plank is to assume what is called a hollow body position. This involves tucking the chin, pressing your shoulders toward the ground and toward your hips, fully separating your shoulder blades while rounding your upper back. Also do a forward tilt with your pelvis. This position will activate the serratus interior, which should not be neglected as this muscle plays an important role in shoulder strength and stability. This forward positioning will also result in spinal flexion and fuller activation of the abdominal muscles. This is like a static crunch, but with a lot more benefit than what comes with crunching while lying on your back. Try incorporating the hollow body position into your planks and any other exercises of similar position like mountain climbers in the high position of a push-up. Again, this technique can be applied to many plank-like exercises. See how it helps with the ones you choose to do. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to learn more, such as how to best incorporate this exercise or any other exercise into a complete fitness program that suits your individual needs, feel free to contact me. And please, click a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more from my blog and Mark the Trainer.